Good morning children. Now you know about what is a year and how many months are there in a year. Let us revise. There are 12 months in a year starting from January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and the last month of the year is December. So 12 months in a year. Now the question comes is how many days are there in a month? Let us see the January month on the calendar for the year 2013. How many days are there? Look 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 till 31. So there are 31 days in the month of January. Do all the months have the same number of days? Let us check the month of Feb, that is February. This is the next month which is February. Here February month has 28 days for the year 2013. Let's check the last year calendar that is 2012. See the February month? There were 29 days. So the month February has either 28 days or 29 days. March has 31 days. How many days the month April has? It has 30 days in total. Next is May. May has 31 days. What about June? The June month has 30 days. July has 31 days. The next month which is August it also has 31 days in total. After August comes September which has only 30 days. The next month is October which has 31 days. November has 30 days. Coming to the last month of the year December. December has 31 days. So 31st of December is the last day of the year. And what is the new year day? The new year starts from January 1st. Understood? Now coming to the last question. All the months have a fixed number of days. Either 30 or 31. But only the February month has either 28 or 29 days. Why is it so? This is also related to the revolution of the earth around the sun. The earth takes 365 and one fourth days to complete one revolution which is called a year. If you add all the days of the month in a year like January 31 days, February 28, March 31, April 30, May 31, June 30, July 31, August 31, September 30, October 31, November 30 and December 31. Then the total comes out to be 365 which is the time the earth takes to revolve around the earth excluding the one fourth of a day. This becomes a year for us. One fourth of a day means one part out of the four parts if we divide the whole day into four equal parts. So after every four years 1 by 4, 1 by 4, 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 parts 
add up to make one day. Where do we adjust this extra full day? Well, it is in the month of February. So, every four year has 366 days instead of 365 days. Hence, every fourth year has 29 days in the month of February instead of 28 days. Understood? So, now you know the reason behind the month of February having different number of days either 28 or 29 in each year. So, if the year 2012 had 29 days in the month of February, then which is the year which will have 29 days again? Well, 12 plus 4 is 16. So, 2016 is the year which will have 29 days again in the month of Feb. That's all for now. Bye-bye children.